From Las Vegas, it's Let's Talk News Now with Rick and Ella. Good morning, Las Vegas. It's time to wake up, grab a cup of coffee, and sit down and enjoy your time with us here on Let's Talk News Now. Ella and Kim joining me here this morning. Good morning, ladies. Good Good morning, morning, Rick. I got to tell you. um, Yesterday we were at the Cadillac dealership. Now we're back home again. Yes. (laughs) Back uh, back at the Queen Victoria Pub. Yes. Did you pick out the car that you wanted? Yes. Yes, I picked it up. I picked it out. Um, I did not pick it up. (laughs) (laughs) Yet. (laughs) I I picked it out, and I I looked at it. I think I'm going to have a conversation with the boss. They're there you gorgeous go. car. I oh, love cars. Yeah. Right. My dad had one when we were growing up. The big green machine, we called it. Nice. I learned to drive on that in that Cadillac. There you go. My yeah. dad bought a beer with him. Did he buy a Buick? He brought a beer with him to the parking lot of where I learned how to drive his big green Cadillac. That's so sweet. It was sweet, but the fact he had a drink while he was teaching me was kind of concerning. He <laughs> <laughs> was like, all right, go ahead. Well, it's better than my dad who um, took me out, and then I kind of panicked and drove into the road. Oh. Uh, yeah, and it you, you know like how the, um, the wheels, it's like that, it, so we couldn't move it, and he refused to get into the car with me he ever wished, he again. He wished he had a beer with him. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> so I'm not making confused. any comment about women drivers, student drivers, or anything else. Mm, yeah. I'm 16, leave me. You're what? <laughs> I'm 16. Sit You're 16? Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't think I, I can't remember that far back. But I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I probably was though one time. Just want to remind everybody that tomorrow uh, here at, uh, at uh, Bailey's. Yes. Let's see at Bailey's. At Bailey's. Tomorrow on we have Rancho and Craig. And who do we who do we have on tomorrow night? In our we show? have Anton Knight, a comedian who's performed at the Laugh Factory and uh, at uh, Plant Hollywood. In the real. And the real, yes. yes. Yeah, so he's, he's, so he's funny. been up and down the strip, and he's going to be there. And of course, the admission is absolutely free. Yes. Show starts uh, it's around 7 30. We get going, 7 30, 8 o'clock, right into the end. We go to about 10 30. But he'll be on what, what about uh, 8 30, 9 o'clock? Yep. And there'll be fo- uh, fancy water, fancy uh, water, you know, specials. So it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So tomorrow evening being Thursday, come on up to uh, to Bailey's at the corner of Rancho and Craig and we'll be there. Yeah. You okay. know, I never mentioned this on Monday. Um, obviously, being back in the Queen Vic and the Olympics going on in London, which very personal to me. But um, I really just wanted, I'd never mentioned it on Monday, but I wanted to mention that the in the opening ceremonies, the digital age, because they did it like different ages. I loved the digital age. I thought that was really, really smart and really, really creative. Oh, you're talking about because they, they did this historic thing. They started yeah, at one point in time that's and they just it. kept going Carried on. historically in decade after decade after decade and finally got up to the... I personally, what I enjoyed the most about was watching a Paul McCartney sing again. Yeah. His you know, voice saying, hey, broke. No, and that was the whole thing was when I first heard it, they go, well, his voice isn't sounding great. His voice isn't sounding great, right? And I'm going, no, he actually he got choked up. He was so moved by the way that everything, and I thought that was a great way to conclude it. Do you believe it. that? I do. I do. I do believe that. I choose to believe that. Okay, there you go. Okay, I choose to believe that. How about that, yeah. the queen making her entrance? I know, right? I thought that was very... <laughs> I know somebody who's offended by the fact that she didn't smile once at the theater. I'm like, she's oh. the queen. She's not expected to smile. Just, just scoop the I air. It was awesome. Yeah, I know, yeah. I don't, you know, the whole, the whole thing where they, you know, the James Bond deal yeah. and getting in the helicopter yeah. and them jumping out of the helicopter and, of course, the... Uh, Union Jack on the parachutes. Yeah. Very I cool looking. Not, yeah. Gotta have 007. Right. Exactly. They come down, and the next thing you know, ladies and gentlemen, Her Majesty. Yes. Amazing. Queen Elizabeth II. Oh, I think, though, great. this is how I was expecting to do Like, you know, when they came out, that the next time you'd see her, she'd probably be pretending to land. Like, just bend her knee. I know. <laughs> like, I do my own stunts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny, but no, she was as poised as usual. Well, so. for you, though, it's particularly interesting because yeah. it's right in the neighborhood that you grew up in. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It was um, funny because when they announced that London was going to be hosting it, it was like a huge celebration day, and then the next day it was like the London bombings, unfortunately. But I kind of rewatched it and all the changes going on over the last seven years. And yeah, I lived in that area, moved and go through that area. It was, yeah. Feel a little homesick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and, and the other part of it though, I think is this, is that you also have the, um, the new development in the area. And yes. I think it's always good for the economy for sure. So anyway, fantastic. Uh, we're gonna be taking a short break. And when we come back, we're gonna be talking to the folks from the American Cancer Society are here with us. So. You take a break, go get yourself another cup of coffee, or visit our website at letstalknewsnow.com. Find out what's going on there, and we'll be back right after this.